Welcome back to Tucker High School. Dwayne Walker along with Gary Brownard, Mario Mays. Fourth quarter action just moments away. Yeah. Gainesville leading by a score of 50 to 46, but Tucker will have the basketball to begin the fourth stanza. Unbelievable atmosphere here, man. Unbelievable atmosphere. Right from the jump, or from the side out, Tucker immediately identifies a mismatch underneath the basket, try to get it to Hill, who tried to dunk the basketball, and now the referees will hold up play. Let's see what we have. We have a foul. The one thing I like right here with, with Ruben, he, he got the poker face on, man. He's unfazed yeah. by Jamonte Hill's size. Nothing has changed his approach. Coach Graham will check him out. He's got three personal fouls, does Rubel. So he'll check out of the ball game with 7.53 to play in the fourth quarter. Hill has it. He goes up off balance. No clear out of there by Gainesville. Number 24, Scott with that rebound. Here comes Jordan streaking right side. Buffington, what a football move. Oh, can't get it to fall. Out of bounds. Coach, hey, did you see how he tucked the basketball going through traffic? Hey, but but I'm more impressed with the hustle by the big fella coming to tap that ball off somebody's head and get the ball back for Gainesville. Here's that inbound play. What a play cutting to the basket. Number 24. Big fella. Mark Kai Scott. Makai Scott, he's got six. His Wait team leads by six. I'm sorry. 52-46. Go ahead, Coach. Nice finish by the big fella, though. Mismatch down low. See, that's the problem, though. When you take out Rubel, who's probably one of your toughest defenders, and Demonte Hill now, he's able to go high and finish the bucket. Hill's got 22 points. Fans yelling defense. Santana stop and go. Shot is no good, but there's going to be a foul on the ground. It'll be a side out. They're going to assess that foul to Tucker's number 15. That's Raylan Barriens. That's just his second personal foul. 13 foul this half against Tucker. Jaquan Rush will check back in the ball game for Tucker. He's been relatively quiet tonight. A good defense by Hill. What a move by Alexander behind his back. To Hill. Sidestep Euro. Big time uh, move, man. Are you kidding me? I tell you what, man. Uh, after this halftime, Hill has really turned it on, man. 24 point performance tonight by. To Monte Hill. Now they're going to call a foul. Who was that foul on? Was it 25? It's all 25. Okay, that foul went to Watson. Forgive me. And for Watson, it's just his second personal foul. Kelly will inbound for Gainesville. Rubel. Barrington, Buffington, excuse me, Rubel, got to get out of the lane. Aaron Plass, Kelly up with it. Ooh, what a spin move, power move, can't get it to fall, but great hustle there by number 24, Micaiah Scott. Here comes Hill, Hill filling it, stop and go, baseline, bang! Tied the ball game up. 52-52, 6-14 to play, fourth quarter. Rubel. Fans are screaming defense. Kelly launches a three in and out. Cleared out by Seals. Seals behind the back on the ground. Great hustle right there. Good right. hustle. Time up called by Brent that Kelly. Let's see if he got it. Games will head the ball. Let's see if it time out Gainesville. Roy Lee Honeycutt, Charles Dunn, and John Mackey. All the officials are there converging, and they're deciding that Gainesville had control of that basketball, thus being able to call the 30-second timeout. Let's keep it right here. A fanatical pace here as Tucker scored the last six points of the game to tie the score. Yeah. Man, I, I hate this. I hate for this game to end. That's, that's, that's all I can say right now. I, I hope they give them an extra quarter. <laughs> well, listen. If you were to do that, you know both teams are coming off very exciting double overtime victories. Uh, Gainesville had to do it against Cambridge. Tucker with an overtime victory against Evans. So really, these two teams are using this Texas team to stay in the late season. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Both of them are ready for it. Like you said, both of them have battle tested, double overtime. 
Hey, maybe we'll get a double overtime tonight. Maybe. And Gainesville, as they walk back on the court, they look completely unfazed. They look calm. They're yeah. playing within themselves. They don't look rattled at all. Hey, they're not phased by any of this. They're just playing hard basketball. Like I said, they're matching. Whatever Tucker's bringing the intensity, they're matching it right now. They've been there. Both teams have been pushed to the limit this year. And we're seeing the results of them being able to battle back and forth. Rubel loses the basketball, but Gumbel and Buffett and he finds the basket. Count that bucket. Whoa, mama. Wow. That foul went to number two, Jaquan Rush, but what the heads up play by Buffington to retrieve that ball after Rubles lost it off the dribble. Can't find the basket, it's Buffington. Cleared away by Tucker. First two points there by Buffington. 54-52. Gainesville with the basketball. It's been a barn burner here at Tucker High School. With Great the, adjustment right here. But now Gainesville goes with a little help on the back side. Watson, no. Alexander, no. Ooh. Oh. Call a foul. No, that's just a loose ball. Bad call, man. I, I believe I'm about to get upset now. Let's just. This no, game no, don't get upset. Good, coach, don't get up, Coach, Coach Mario. Don't this get upset. This game has been too good for the officials to start trying to decide the game. This has been a great ball game. That's a tough call, man. Foul went to Buffington, his third personal. 17 foul, Alexander at the line, no. As, as they say, man, ball don't lie, right? Yeah, but I want you to notice what happened right here with the adjustment. Tucker went back to the post up with Hill, but you had some backside help that time from Big Brent Kelly after the front of Rafa right there. Yeah, they're going to have to do oh! that. Oh! Torres Alexander misses both attempts, but almost chased that basketball down. And that's one of the things about Tucker. They're struggling at the free throw line. Though. Missing uh, two shots, missing the front end of one and one. Gainesville almost not paying attention to detail as no one boxed out the shooter. You're right right there. That could have been big. Gainesville has the basketball. Five minutes to play in regulation. Speaking of fives, number five with it, Rubel. In the lane, behind the back, Buffington, ooh, got clipped. And there's a foul on the basketball, and it's a one plus one situation. Now key for, key for Gainesville, Gainesville's got to be able to knock down free throws, though. And one thing we haven't seen, um, Hector was hot in the first half. We haven't seen really much of Hector in the second half. Yeah. He's been on the floor, he just hasn't scored. Big free throw right there. No doubt. Foul went to Seals. That's the first person for Seals. Buffington. I like Buffington, fellas, though. I mean, like I said, he's been in every play, man. Made plays. Kind of like a little Brent Kelly. Kelly right, yeah. right, right. Another scrappy player right here. Can't get that one to fall. He's one for three on the evening from the free throw line. And the official points towards Tucker. Buffington going to have to hit these free throws down the stretch. Have critical, to. critical. Here comes the press from Gainesville. 55-52. Alexander with the inbound. Right corner. Let's see if they clear it out. Being guarded Woo! by Rubel. Almost loses the basketball. Here comes the pressure. Alexander with it in the corner of Hill. Hill. This is where you want to keep Hill. Right there on that perimeter. Hill with 26 points in the game. Seals. Drops it off the hill. Hill, oh, has it tapped out of his hands, but they call a foul against number five, Rafi Rubel. And if it's on, we're calling on five or four? Five? Um, if, sorry, it's foul on him, but it's his fourth, I think. If that's on Rubel, that's his fourth personal foul with 429 to play. We run into an issue right here. If Rubel has to come out of the game, who's going to step up for Rafael Rubel? Got a good point right there. On both ends. I'm not just talking about the offensive end. I'm talking about offense and defense. Chuck Graham's got a decision to make right here. 55-53 as Hill misses the second attempt. He's got 27 points, though. His club trails by two. 422 to play, and they're going to call a foul on number two against 
Tucker. Well, now the problem is now we're going to the free throw line again right here. See, the referee pointed to the side over here. And they're in the bonus, but he called the offensive foul. Uh, that's on the defense, so they should be shooting. Why are they not shooting? Might be a, it's a player control foul. It's all player control? Is that what he called? That foul, anyway, with the Jaquan Rush. Barians with it. Now Kelly in the lane, stops, in and out, off the rim. Correction. Here comes Barian. Barian's using his body to fuck the oh, shooting player. Oh, oh Barian oh. goes up. No. And they're going to call a foul going up. I think he tricked the ball a little bit on that play, too, didn't he? Yeah. Wow. Give that Gainesville foul the number one. Walt Dixon, the 6'5 junior, just his first personal foul. The freshman at the free throw line. Raylan yeah. Barians. Now here's strategy talk. Now we're talking strategy talk. Rafael Rubens getting ready to come back in the game. He's probably been the guy who's been able to defend Jamonte Hill at, I guess you want to say the best. If I'm Tucker and I see him on Jamonte Hill, we're hey, everybody move one side. We're gonna clear out. We're gonna play big boy ball right here. We're gonna make him pick up this fifth foul. Barion is one of four from the free throw line tonight. Second attempt is on the way good. He's got 11 points, and it's a tie score, 55-55. There's a timeout on the floor. Why don't we take this timeout, too, with our score? Gainesville, 55. Tucker, 55. You're watching the best of Georgia High School playoff basketball on VSUV TV. School, Dwayne Walker, Barry Browner, Mario Mays, exactly four minutes to play. Fourth quarter, tie score 55 55, Gainesville and Tucker. Santana with the basketball inside. Dixon double clutches, and he's going to be tied up. Alternating possession, and the arrow points towards Gainesville. They're pointing towards Gainesville. Let's see how we do it. Take the ball out, Gainesville. 350 to play, and now they're going to check with it at the scores table to see who had the basketball last. They confirm it will be Gainesville ball. Raphael Rubel checks back in the ball game. He has four fouls stolen away there by Tucker. Barrios goes up and scores. He's got 13. Tucker takes the lead. Barrett, no good by Uba. Cleared out by Tucker. Barrett's with it. 3.30 to play, and Coach Hartree wants him to Coach Hartree wants him to bring the basketball out and run something. Santana, ooh, Barrett, no. From three. Too out quick, by Dixon. Too quick from the young fella right there. Yep. Got to feed Hill. He's been burning hot. Rubel goes to the basket, has it deflected by Seals on the defensive effort. What a tremendous play by number three, Braylon Seals, the 6'2 junior. Good defense by Braylon Seals right there. Three minutes to play. Coach Hartree's yelling motion, motion he's yelling. Barian's with it. Tapped out of there by Rubel. He comes up with a steal. Rafi being guarded by Watson. Watson with the hand check. A foul way back here. But he's going to put him on the free throw line. Why would yeah. you? But you know what, though? <laughs> I'm going to say something about Rubel right here. 
Man, that was gutsy. Four fouls, he takes a chance right there to get a steal. But you know what? You got to have a good feel for the game to make that play right there. No doubt. I mean, that could have went the way this game's being called. It could have went either way. Yeah, foul went to Nick Watson, his third personal. Rafi Rubel at the line. He's got 11 points tonight. 12, no. Can't make the front of the one on one. Mr. But Blue right there with the Brent, rebound. Wow. Brent and, Kelly. Oh, and for the second time, Brent Kelly scrambles to grab a loose basketball, and his basketball IQ allows him to call timeout. Two yes. critical possessions. Brent Kelly, man, we said it 100 times tonight on this broadcast how valuable he is to this team. And I hope the young fellas are watching. Every team needs a Brent Kelly type player. And listen, he's been a three-year starter. He averages 12 points, five rebounds, and three assists. But in a big game like this of this magnitude, although he's only scored two points, he's been one of the highlights for the Red Elephants tonight. Right. It just goes to say that you can dominate a game without fear. And he's dominated the game by making plays for his team and giving them extra possession. Critical two-point game, 243 to play. He chases down that rebound, and as a result, his team has the basketball. Yep. So as Gainesville takes this basketball out again, Coach, will we look for something in the middle like before when they caught Tucker sleeping? I don't know. Look right here. Chuck Graham has pulled out two great out-of-bounds underneath plays. Yeah. Here's another right here. Let's see what happens. He's lining them up this time at the free throw line on the wing. Kelly will inbound the basketball. Dixon in, Santana in, as well as Rubel. And Buffington, the inbound, there's it in the middle. Oh, what exactly a play for right. Kelly for two. Every single time. Look, that, that, and that's where you got to give credit from the coaching, coaching. standpoint. Coaching. Right. Everybody else caught up on everything else. Great move again by Coach Chuck Glenn. 57-57. What a Great steal move. there. He got away with a double dribble there, though. Watch this, man. I'm going to tell you another coaching adjustment that's been made. Now, every time Javante Hill... This the ball on the mid post. They got a backside man coming. That right. backside man that made that perfect read. The guy who we talked about who's had such a good feel for the game. Rocky Rubel right there. And you're missing something. Rubel's really not playing anybody on the defensive end. So he's just roaming. Help. He's just roaming and helping out. He was able to come backside from the all the way from the other side and get that steal right. and come down the sideline. Good, good call. Again, man, Chuck. Chuck Graham showing me his X and O game is strong. Right. And that's why this transition has been smooth for this team with Coach Graham taking the head spot. Rubel misses the second attempt. However, his team leads 58-57. Seals going to the basket. This tipped away again Mr. by Brent Gainesville. Kelly another steal right here. Oh, a little shake and bake going towards the basket. One body control, but can't get it to fall as Rubel. Back the other way comes Tucker. They've got a three on two with the hurry. Berrien sidesteps the man and leaves the man. He's a freshman. 15 points for the freshman, and now Buffington gets clipped, and there's no call, but Gaines will retain yeah. possession. Yeah, hey, man, he, he fell. He slipped. He almost got away with it. He got away with a he walk, slipped. though. He got away with a walk. <laughs> I can't say that, man. My Gainesville brother right here. I ain't going to say nothing. I, want, I know people going to say, you a home. <laughs> Gainesville will inbound the basketball, but watch the second man off the pass. They look inside. It's cut off. Now they'll get it in, out to Dixon. Dixon to Rubel, number five. 146 to play. Crossover dribble. Rubel in the lane. Stop goes up. He gets. Oh! Oh, oh, oh a traveling violation. Oh, 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 oh. No, wow. no, no. Mr. Rell. Wow. No, Mr. Rell. Three, four, almost a five seconds violation, but Seals gets it in in time. 138 to play. Tucker has the lead and the basketball, 59-58, 133 to play. Now Tucker's going to go to the old star ball right here. Maurice Hector back in the ball game for Gainesville. Seals gives up his dribble. Hill goes between the legs. Now Watson with it. Berrien's the freshman. Guarded there by Hector. The freshman off glass, no. 
but they're gonna call a push and we're gonna walk back the other way. They're gonna call the foul. Ooh, Barry has slams the ball down with his fist and his coach is asking him, why are you doing that? And Barry is showing his youth there, slamming his fist on the basketball. You don't wanna do that, young man, at this juncture of the game. The young the man. Gotta be very, yeah. very careful right here. Not to show the officials up. This has been a great game. No bad sportsmanship thus far. 1-11 to play. Number one at the line. There's your four digit right there. 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Dixon. Oh, man. Can't get it to fall. As We've it's seen hit. a lot of missed free throws down the stretch right here. We have. We have. All right. Walt Dixon, the 6'5 junior. He's got four points in the game. He's a wide receiver on the football team. Misses the second attempt, but there's Santana with the rebound, and they're going to call a foul on Barrett, and that might be his fifth. That might be his fifth personal foul. Let's see who they called it against. If it's on, if it's on Barry, It may be his fifth. Let's see. Yep. Fifteen. Let's see what they say. With the, he's grabbing his hair, his hair piece. Walking slowly towards the bench. Let's see. I'll assume that's his fourth personal foul. Wow. I had him down. I had him down with... Oh, I'm sorry. That's his fourth. That's his fourth. Whoa, that would have been big, though. That's his fourth. This game is going to come down to the free throw line. When it's over, both teams are going to look back and say, we left something on the line. We left a lot on the free throw, the free throw line. Julio Santana, free throw line. he's a junior, averages eight points, four rebounds, four assists. No free throws in his career will be as big as this next one right here with a minute and eight to play. Number 10, Nathaniel Agbu, the Dartmouth commit, has entered the game for Tucker. Santana fires on the second. Can't get it to foul, but gets his own rebound! And he, oh, he misses the money! And he's gonna be called for the foul. Well, listen, double-edged negative on that. Sure, he blew the free throw, but Tucker, not paying attention to detail, allowed Lucky Santana to get his, got his own, own rebound. rebound. Wow. Now, the key is gonna be this. After missing on the free throw line, the last two possessions, and, and getting a great rebound and missing the layup, can Gainesville recoup and come back and try to steal this ball game? Nick Watson, number 25, he does his business at the free throw line. He's only got seven points tonight. However, they've all been big two, three pointers and a huge free throw right there. Number two checks in for Tucker, Jaquan Rush. But how, how about it? The DCAB, the region player of the year and three-point specialist for this game at the free throw line trying to hit a single to put his team up by three. Expect the timeout right now. Wow. Watson misses and coach you're right. It's all coming down to free throws here. In the corner, the three-point specialist. No. Oh. Number 10, Maurice. Hector couldn't get it to fall. He's got four three-pointers in the game so far, but couldn't get that one to find the bottom of the basket. Hector has not had a whole bunch of looks. No, that might hand. be one of his first looks. And that personal foul given to number one, Walt Dixon, the junior, the 6'5 junior, will march back the other way in number 25, Nick Watson. Averages 14 points a game. We'll try again. Two shots forthcoming. First one on the way. Good. Big shot by Nick Watson, though. He's got Three eight. Up to three. His team leads by three with under a minute to play. 56 seconds. Second attempt on the way. No good. So many points being left on the free throw line, man. Games will still have a chance here. Ruble with it. They don't have to settle for a three. Ruble down in the corner of Santana. They'll move it to Kelly. Kelly. Hector had a notion, but they're going to move the basketball. Ruble. Fancy yelling defense. Loose ball comes up with it. It's Hector. Hector with it. 
to Kelly. Cross to Rubel. Rubel long ways three. No. Loose ball. Chased out of there by Santana. And then in throws to Quad Rush. And let's see what he's going to call. Timeout, Tucker. Heads up play by Jake Quad Rush, wow. who just checked into the ball game. It's deafening inside of Tucker High School right now. Uh. The referees, Roy Lee, Honeycutt, Charles Dunn, and John Mackey, they all converge. And let's see what we've got here. Looks like there's a timeout on the floor. That's what Jaquan Rush called. And let's keep it right here with 25.8 seconds to play. Dwayne Walker, Man. Barry Browner, and Mario Means. Go I'll, ahead, Barry. I'll say this much. Gainesville had shot. They they had opportunity. And like I said, they they had been able to hit a shot, hadn't been able to make free throws. Tucker's got a chance to steal it right here. It's 61 58 with 25.8 seconds left. Yeah. If you're gonna be a final four squad, you gotta make free throws. Both teams have left a bunch of points on the line. But at the same time, Tucker took an taking advantage the last couple of investments and got a couple buckets. Man. And how painful would this be for the Red Elephants who fell last year to Langston Hughes in the final? Nick Watson with it. Hill has it now. We'll back it back up. 61-58. Gainesville trying to foul, and they finally do. Give that foul to number 10, Maurice Hector. Jamonte Hill steps to the free throw line. He's got 27 points tonight. 21 of them in the second half of play. Hill's attempt is good. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all something. Jamonte Hill wanted to show y'all that he was the big dog and this was his yard. No doubt about it tonight. 62-58. He's considered their best all-around player by head coach James Hartree in his 19th season. Second attempt forthcoming by Hill. He unloads, it's good. He's got 29. Gainesville calls a timeout. Look at our score. Tucker, 63, Gainesville, 58. There's a timeout on the floor, let's take a timeout too. You're watching GHSA Playoff Basketball on BSUV TV. Heels are flats. Heels. Around here, we are decision-making pros. But when she got injured last season, I almost made the wrong decision. I thought I could take her where I rehabbed my knee, but her coach told me, take her to Children's. No thanks. All that experience helped my daughter heal faster and come back stronger. Now we just need to decide where I'll play in college. Road trip. Welcome back to Tucker High School. My name is Dwayne Walker along with Barry Browner and Mario Mays. We've got a barn burner here, 18.9 seconds to play. Tucker has the lead, 63-58, but Gainesville has the basketball. What are we looking for here? Got to get a quick bucket regardless. Yeah. Whether it's a two or three, you got to get a quick bucket. Rubel in the corner. Buffington reloads from three. No. Loose ball out of bounds. Gainesville will retain possession with 10.1 to play. Ten seconds left, man. Gonna be tough right here. You even if you get a bucket, they ain't even gotta pick it up. Doesn't matter what bucket. They just need to score, whether it be a two or a three. I would just attack the basket. Rubel launches no. Lee cleared out by Seals. And there's a foul by Santana, number 22. 4.4 4 seconds to play. We'll walk to the other end of the floor. And the Tucker contingent here at home, they will celebrate as number three, Braylon Seals, the 16 junior, will step to the line and ironically enough, try to seal the deal here for Tucker Tigers. Yeah, that's gonna do it, y'all. That, hey, 
I'm going to credit, though, this Gainesville team, man. They play hard whole game. Like I said, free throws will be the telling story. A couple of calls here and there could have went either way. I, I expect a lot out of this Gainesville team in the future, though. I what a run, what, man. You know, like you said, it's been a great run for Gainesville. They showed up. They showed out. Just came up a little short right here to a great Tucker team. Congratulations to Coach Haltry. 65-68. You'll go down in the books. The Tucker Tigers defeat the Gainesville Red Elephants here at Tucker High School, and they punch their ticket into the Final Four, which will take place this weekend at West Georgia. Guys, some final remarks. How about you, uh, Barry Brown? Man, hey, what an atmosphere. Hey, what a win for Tucker, though, man. Like I said, DeMonte Hill showed why he's one of the top juniors in the state of Georgia, why he's being recruited by some of the high major schools around the country. Man, I think he did a great job. Hill, the 6'6 junior, that's right, he'll be back. 29-point performance, including 23 in the second half. On the other side, for Gainesville, Rafael Rubel, he ended up with 12 points with the leader. Maurice Hector with 14 points in the game. But at the end of the day, Gainesville comes up a little short. And I just want to end this by saying something to you, uh, Coach Mario Mays from the Gainesville area. I'm just amazed that Coach Graham in his first year now, he leads the Red Elephants back to this position after losing a heartbreaker uh, last year in last year's tournament. But he lost nine players. He lost nine players. But the upside, he's got nine players coming back that are underclassmen. So what I'll tell you is this. I spoke to Coach Benji Wood today, and he talked a lot about exactly what you said. A lot of these kids that were on this team basically had to sit and wait behind a great group that was in front of them last year. The K.J. Buffins, the Jabo Blessings. So now what just happened at Gainesville, they just ushered in a new group of kids that done a great job and took them on a great run. And then going forward, like you said, they'll bring nine back. So we're going to expect to see Coach Brown back here again next year. And they set the bar. But, but, extremely high. I, I'm just trying to figure out, but how do you replace a uh, 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 Bailey Miner? How do you replace the Rossing Twins? How do you replace Kawan Hale? How do you replace uh, Xavier Vletson? How do you replace all of these guys? You only have three kids return from last year's team. Well, I tell you what, man. At the end of the day, he done a heck of a job with what he had. And let, let's, let's not make any slack to what he had because I tell you what. I still say Brent Kelly is one of the most underrated kids around. And also, like I said, just the rest of the, the cast that he had. So and, just a great year for him. And Barry, let's end on this note with the champions. End of the day, Coach James Hartry, in his 19th season, he comes here and he leads his troop into the Final Four, uh, did what he set out to do. Why don't we summarize for, on the Tucker side? Man, for Tucker, man, like I said, it's been a long time coming. They've kind of been missing the boat. And like I said, this team was built to make a run. With a guy like Jamonte Hill, Nick Watson, you got guys like uh, the freshman that stepped up. This Tucker team has got a chance to win the state championship, y'all. They'll play a very tough, tough, hard-nosed team just like this when they play Heritage next. But I'm telling you, though, Hartree, I, like I said, I've been on that side with Hartree and coached against him. Man, he's an unbelievable coach, man, 19 years, and he's been there before. And even though he's been there before, he entrusted his coaching staff. Assistant coaches Miles Harris, his young phenom, Deion High, who's actually a former Arabian Mountain head coach, and, of course, Alex Springs, who Coach Hartree considers the brain trust, just allowing these guys to spread their wings, and it, it, it was truly a team effort win tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it, man. Like I said, just knowing these guys, man, having been in the cast, coaching against uh, Coach High when he was at Arabia and I was at Lithonia, man, like I said, he's got a great staff. But, man, you're, you're, you as a head coach, you're only as good as your staff. And like I said, he gives a lot of credit to those guys too. And I'm going to say one thing. You're talking about people bringing a good group back. Coach Haltry is also going to have a good group back. I know he's not ready to end now, but think about this. 
You're going to bring back Devontae Hill. You're going to bring back Barron. That alone is enough to get you started on what you think could be a heck of a season for them next year. But we won't talk about next year till this year is over. For Tucker, salute to Coach Hawtrey and what he's done. They're headed to the Final Four. Well, all right. Well, that's the story here from Tucker High School as Tucker will advance into the Final Four, which will take place this weekend at West Georgia. With the final score, Tucker 65 and Gainesville 58. On behalf of everyone here at VSUV TV, it's been a fantastic basketball season. Very, very exciting. Uh, we'd like to thank everybody as part of the team. Uh, my name is Dwayne Walker. On behalf of my partners, Barry Browner and Mario Mays, we bid you a pleasant good evening from Tucker High School.